It's Get John's Job, a fierce competition between nine applicants auditioning to fill the position of former Howard Stern staff member, Stuttering John. This week's applicant is Richard Christie. Hello there, my name is Richard Christie. I'm here for the uh, Get John's Job auditions. Uh, really looking forward to it. This is a dream of a lifetime for me. I'm just uh, an electrician that's a big fan of the show. I listen every day uh, at my job, and unfortunately they took him off the air in Orlando where I live, so when they did that, I said, well, I gotta move out of Orlando, so this would be a perfect opportunity for me, because I, I love New York, too, and I miss Howard down in Orlando, so I really appreciate the opportunity to do this, and I'm looking forward to this week. It's really a, a great group to be in, to be part of this group that's trying out for this job, because I'm fans of all the other people, too. I'm f big fans of, um, you know, Sal and everybody that's in this group. So it, it's really cool to be able to do this. All right, good luck, man. Cool, thank you. I love this guy. He's um, trying to get John's job this week. Did you uh, take that test he gave you? Yeah, you have two tests, sex I test know. and a math test. The math test was, I thought maybe it was tricky, a, a trick question or something because it was so easy. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, well, am I stupid or am I falling for something here? Yeah. You ready to go, or you want more time? Uh, yeah, I got about 15 questions. Oh, okay, yeah, that's more than enough. Are they good? Yeah, yeah, there's some interesting stuff on there. Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. I think we should do the show all talking like Richard one day. <laughs> <laughs> that Kansan accent? <laughs> yeah, someone was uh, telling me about you. Richard, by the way, is an electrician. He's also a rock drummer. And someone, someone sent me a note, let me see if I find it, that... Despite the fact that you're in a rock and roll band, everything, you never get laid. No. Actually, I was on the show in Vegas last year. You guys, uh, I played a game of blackjack to try and win a date with a porn star. Did you win it, that? No, unfortunately, I didn't. I busted on blackjack. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, he played. But I play in a heavy metal band. We, uh, I mean, we're kind of popular. I never really made enough money to just live off the music, and it was pretty much a sausage fest at all of our shows. So oh. Even though tough. Christy is in a band, he tells me he gets no chicks from it. He says the girls aren't into the heavy music he plays, and no girls go to the concerts, so no groupies. He could get all the guys he wants. He entered our virgin <laughs> contest in Vegas. He wasn't a virgin, but he told me he hadn't had sex in 10 years. Yeah. And only had sex with three women in his life, and he's 30. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, that's oh, creepy. yeah. I, uh, actually, uh, luckily, the, I broke the streak uh, late last year. So. I was going to say, you must have had sex since. Yeah. 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 You, should play in, uh, you should play drums for Britney Spears. You get tons of chicks. I know. Yeah. They're yeah. all 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure KC would love to play in a band like mine because tons of dudes come to our show. So. All right. It'll be hot for him. Yeah. yeah. Do you get propositioned by the guys? Uh, no. Luckily, I haven't uh, <laughs> had any trouble with that. You got tons of uh, email that, oh, that was praising and hailing you all Ooh. over the place. Awesome. I'll read you some, make you feel good. First off, I didn't realize so many of the hilarious song parodies that you frequently play were Richard Christie's work, so two thumbs up for him for that. But besides that, Richard's a badass death metal drummer, and if he doesn't get John's job, he should at least be hired to do daily death-defying drum solos on the show. Mm. Huh. Um, by the way, here's another one. He is awesome on the drums, Richard Christie. I saw him with Iced Earth in Cleveland at their first show on this tour. I have not seen a show like it. They played for a little over two hours. One song was a half hour long, and Christie played it straight through. All the songs are very complex for every instrument. I'm amazed that he left that underrated and amazing band for a chance at this job. He would make the losers ten times better. I already think they're good. Thank you, Richard Christie, for so much side-splitting entertainment over the years. You deserve John's job. You only got one negative. This guy's a cheap version of Dan the Song Parody Man. He also stole Sal the Stockbroker's style in his Baba Booey songs. Are you looking to replace Stuttering John with a personality that's diverse or an engineer who cuts and pastes sound clips? Sorry, Howard, I'm not impressed. All, All right. right, well, maybe you can impress yeah. the guy today. That's cool. All right. Yeah, I was going to let you know, too, you guys have played my bands uh, before going in and out of commercials. I sent you a CD. I think it was way back in 98 or 99. Is that right? Yeah, the band Death that I used to play in, yeah. Yes, Mike. This guy going for John's job, he's, he's a stellar for man. Yeah, he's real good. In fact, he's got a game for us now. So let me turn it over to uh, Richard right now. A lot of good stuff, man. Real funny. All right, okay. great. Great to hear. Yeah. 
All right, what is this game? What do we got to do? All right, well, uh, yesterday I gave everybody a perversity quiz and had them fill it out, and uh, I went through about half of it this morning. There was about 30 questions, but I went and found some interesting stuff about people, and I was wanting uh, you guys to guess who answered something that's a little out of the normal. Okay. Okay, and who's... Uh in the contest. Okay, it's everybody except I didn't get Benji's test till late, so I didn't. It's oh, good, no Benji. In, I'm well, fine with that. I, I noticed. Already, one, you're hitting another home run. Well, I noticed one odd thing just glancing through his that uh, one time a transvestite tried to trick him or something. He wrote. Yeah. So that was sure. pretty. Yeah, who even knows? Don't even <laughs> don't, leave him out of it. All right, so let's go. So it's it's Artie, Fred, Robin, Howard, Gary, and Casey. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Um, Everybody said they're a little bit perverted. One person said they're not at all perverted. Who was that person? Not at all. Not at all perverted. Yeah. Fred. Artie. Casey. Howard. I'm going to say Fred. This Howard got it. See? Who, I got Artie? it right. It was Howard. It's me. Oh, it's you. You don't think you're perverted? I don't. I don't think I'm perverted. Okay. A little bit? Well, what's perverted? The question was, exactly. What? I don't feel anything I do is perverse. I don't think I'm perverted. What do I do sexually that's perverted? Go to Frank's Chicken House and take pictures with Amy Lynn. <laughs> but why is that perverted? I'm a man and I love beautiful women. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I answered a little bit because there's been times in my life where, uh, like, strip clubs have been, like, my life blood. Like, uh, uh, like, but he also, he's made sex to inanimate objects. So what? <laughs> yeah, you did back you're it just, You're just opening up the floodgates. You're perverted. That's, you're am not I, even a little bit. Uh, do you think you're perverted? <laughs> a little. In what way? I like to be watched. Oh. <laughs> See, I don't. Well, I'd like uh, to watch, too. I a, watch. Well, why don't you let me watch? <laughs> I don't Seriously. want to be watched by people I know. Give when have you ever been watched? <laughs> uh, what? I've had sex in public places. She wrote about it in her book. Remember, she... Uh, she yeah, but she wasn't watched. Sure it was. Yeah, she what wanted what are you talking about? There were a bunch of guys in a truck sitting right next to us. Oh, that's right. I mean, why don't they call in? <laughs> I, you know what? I guess I, I kind of did too much... Uh, of a psychological thing, I don't feel that I'm perverse. Well, I don't think that, but it's considered perverted. Yeah, I mean, I did make love to a, a piece of rubber. Right. Well, don't feel bad. I made love to the middle of a roll of paper towels one time. And so. he's done that too. He cut out the hole in a I've pillow done that. and all that stuff. He's perverted. I didn't cut a hole in the pillow. <laughs> I mean, who That's here? just the first episode of my cartoon. I took a little poetic license. <laughs> who here can say they never banged the central vacuum unit? <laughs> That's a little dangerous. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Um, all right, so maybe I, maybe I don't know. Maybe I just you lied. I, no, I wasn't lying. No, I just didn't I think mean, I was there's perverted. There's a line you everybody crosses. Okay, all right. Well, then I answered it wrong. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, uh, who lost their virginity the earliest? Ooh. They checked from the age ten to thirteen. Oh. I'm gonna I'm Jeez. gonna say well Robin's father and her went out. I didn't do I we didn't that you didn't, didn't go we all didn't the way go that far. I don't no. believe that. I think you've just blanked it out. They just right. Well, <laughs> I think you went no, they went a little further than petting. <laughs> petting. Heavy petting. I yeah. didn't even do that. Please. Oh, come on. What? Didn't he use his hand on you, his ham hand? He touched. <laughs> yeah. His we ham heard, hand. Uh, That's third base, honey. Uh, please. No offense. All right, right. No Whatever offense. you say. What about <laughs> you? <laughs> no offense taken. <laughs> no offense taken. <laughs> what about your uh, tiramisu moans vernus? <laughs> yeah, didn't he, didn't he take that. his ham hands and run it all over your tiramisu <laughs> moans vernus? <laughs> <laughs> See, I would think the answer to that would be KC because he's so good looking. But Artie seems like one of those guys Who whose probably dad would have All right. I'm going to take a wild <laughs> guess and say, I'm going to take a wild guess and say Fred. You know what? I'm going to say KC because he's good looking and I think some older chick would probably come on to him. I say, I, I'm going to say I say KC with a, uh, a young a, a young man. I'm going to say when <laughs> KC I'm going to say when KC was about 13 some 20 year old playmate banged right. him and came yeah. out of the yeah. Alright, who is the answer? It's KC. Uh, Casey. Yeah. Gay KC. Gay KC. Now, was Casey. it a guy or a girl? No, was a, I, I was in 7th grade. She was in 8th grade. Alright. Wow. Good. Look at you. you know, I, I, uh, it was no good. <laughs> Howard, I actually tracked her down down because we were going to do a bit where we were all going to get the the first girls that we ever had sex with. Yeah, she wouldn't come on the air. But yeah, doesn't want to talk about it. No, mine came on the air. She looked pretty good too. I was shocked. Alex, you're on the air. Hey, 
I didn't think that I don't consider anything I do yeah, perverse. We're not talking about your consideration. Well, the, the, the question was, are you a pervert? And I said, no. Uh, no, it said, do you consider yourself perverted? Even gave you grades. A, a little, little bit a lot. I, I don't. But he doesn't. I'm not ashamed. I don't consider myself perverted, but you evidently in do. General society, that's considered perverted. That's so anytime you have at. sex, it's perverse. No. Is that what your point is? No. Who among us hasn't enjoyed <laughs> uh, tickling a young child? <laughs> Let's you're, laugh. you're there with a, a piece of plastic. You're fine. No. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Another question. Okay, two people have deflowered virgins. Ooh. I would say, uh, well, go ahead, Gary. I would think you because I thought you told that story on the air once, but I could be wrong. You'd be wrong about me because I thought I, you'd never had a virgin. I thought that I'm, was what you always said. I've never had a virgin. I think it's Robin because she's the only woman in you. Mm. And maybe Casey. Please. I, I think Casey's number one in all these things for right. good-looking guys. I, know. I, I think Casey's probably <laughs> done I'm that. I'm almost sure Artie's never had anyone give, you know, say, I want you to take my virginity. <laughs> they don't want to well, give him that you, prize. Well, uh, thank you for that. But I, um, Fred is insane. Gary? I... I, if I did, I, I don't realize that I did. It's probably uh, Robin. Gary and Casey. No, I'm going to say Casey and... Yeah, Gary's probably... Well, it could be Robin, too. I mean, she's a girl. She could get any... Yeah, I'm going to say Casey and Gary, too. Yeah. yeah. Robin's got... Yeah, well, you both got it. It's Casey and Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gary had a virgin. Yeah, but you know what? My virgin story's awful. I was practically a virgin myself, and <laughs> it was a mess, and the condom broke, and, you know, one of where you wait for your parents to go away for months, and wow. they do, and it was, it was awful. Go but ahead. That was the, uh, actually, that was the next, uh, next question. One well, do one more. Do, one do person your best enjoyed one. it, and one didn't enjoy deflowering a virgin. Yeah. And Kate, uh, Gary didn't, and Casey did. You enjoyed deflowering? Oh, you, yeah, I was, dude, it was it was sex, and it was. What the guy say? His ass hurt. <laughs> uh, the guy not, kissed him I afterwards. I gotta be bad. Go ahead. You give me your best one because I'm running out of time. Give me okay. your best one. Give me your best one. Uh, now this one's funny. This, this is probably an easier one, but this one always makes me laugh. One person likes pleasing their partner in the most intimate of areas, and they also enjoy being pleased in their most <laughs> intimate oh, of that's areas. Gary. Who could that be? That's Gary. <laughs> oh really? Oh, of course. It's Long time we've talked about this on the show. I haven't done oh, it in oh, ages. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> he likes taking a woman and, and uh, yeah. the most dirty of areas. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I, I had a question for him. Now, when that happened, do you groom, uh, like, in in respect for your partner, do you groom down there, Gary? You don't know what's going to happen, and after eight bottles of vodka, there's no grooming. Oh, please. <laughs> don't, you, don't you also like chocolate bars a lot? Oh. <laughs> what's your point? <laughs> I'm just saying, this seems to be a theme. Oh. Dude, that's what dogs do, man. Yeah, Baba Booey loves that. I, I, and I, I just like, I don't want to do that. Me and Fifi? <laughs> I want to show you how much I love you. you know what's he so wants to prove his love. The only person on the show I get to support me in that is Ronnie. I, I, oh, and Ronnie you enjoy that? having it done to you, oh right? Oh, God, yeah. No. Really? That's gay. <laughs> kind of. It's a chick. But it's pleasure through that area. Whatever. It's gay. Yeah, okay. Anytime yeah. that area gets pleased... It's gay. <laughs> it is yeah. gay, yeah. <laughs> right? That area is not meant for pleasure right. on a guy. Right. That area pleases me when something's leaving it. <laughs> 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 All right, what's next? Yeah. <laughs> what, I, one what, last one. But what is, what is Gary right. do like when it happens? Are you, are you laying down or what? He's on all fours. God, it's been... <laughs> I'm on all fours. What are you on all fours? You have to, to be on all fours. It's the only way you can do it. I'm That's a funny thing. No, no, no. You can be on your back. Like a baby. On your back? Yeah. And with your legs like up there? Like you're being diapered? <laughs> Look at me. I'm the good baby. <laughs> Look at me. What? I'm the good baby. I'm the good baby. You imagine some chick oh, wanting to do that? No, my girl. Baba wasn't Booey? All. Yeah, some chick looks at I'm that laying and says, on my I want back. That. Yeah, I'm laying on my back and she needed it. Baba Booty. <laughs> I'm presenting my hindquarters. Mary, I'm ready. Here I am. Forget the lasagna. <laughs> Here's the main course. Uh, wow. I can tell you right now that Mary has never participated. Right. I bet. Woo. Or loss. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the, well, wow! Know. How many girls have done that to you when you're on your back? <laughs> oh, two or two, I think. Now, see, can you Let's find get them those on women? the phone? <laughs> I don't think they're going to find come them. On. Forget, Forget the one you the deflowered. Yeah. They're not going to come on the air. <laughs> if you could get those two women on the air, that would be great. Oh my goodness! <laughs> smell I don't their know. breath. That smell—it was just so intoxicating. <laughs> I had to have them. I'm a clean guy. Mom. He looks so good. <laughs> Maybe I look better from there. Yeah, Frank, you're on the air. 
Hey now. Yeah. Oh. Really? Who hasn't yeah, yeah. done that? <laughs> That's awful. No. Uh. Oh. oh. I'm going to be sick. Actually, one time I almost banged some brazoot. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Already keep that to yourself. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Chris, you're on the air. I'm disgusted. <laughs> This guy's great, though. Uh, I definitely vote for him. Hey, is he also the guy who did the Nig R Hater Detective? No, no. No, that's not I've him. never done any racist type stuff. All right, well, good luck, brother. You're good. Thanks. He just just homophobic. Yeah, he just draws the line on fags and. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I can't believe you're on your back for that. But you've been up on all fours too, I guess. I, it's been a long time. Do you have a blast one? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be rude. A mouthful. Wow. It's like you laying on your back and all. I don't even know how a chick would I mean, make. He's it. hairy. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hair to work Brother, through. What have you seen me down there to know what's going on? I'm just looking at you. You're kind of. Hairy. I just can't imagine you naked on your back with your legs. Like, what do you do? You put your feet up in the air? Like, Does like, that look good? Like you lift your. Do you lift yourself up off the bed a little? I, I swear, dude, this, we're talking 15 years ago. I swear, I don't. No, but I, you like put a pillow under your back? No, no, no. no. I mean, just like, how do you get the right angle on they that? They just find it. But dude, wow. how do you introduce something like that? I mean, how do you ask for something? Well, like I don't. You don't. It was somebody else's idea. <laughs> like, like, like you thought she was going to go do something else. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, wow. And then what do you do? Like, do you lift? Well, like, you, you, do you find yourself needing her so you <laughs> lift up? And Here's what happens. <laughs> of Did course, you give the chick let me a, help you. Give no. the chick a machete. <laughs> it's a jolt, right? It's right. a jolt. And then you go, well, that's not entirely uncomfortable. <laughs> right, one last one, because okay. then i got to move along. Now, this, this is uh, pretty good. Two people have peeped on somebody. Ah, who are the oh, peepers? I, I got to go with you. I don't yeah. know why. I don't yeah. know why. Peeping Tom. Well, I don't know. I think it might be you. I know you said something about seeing a, somebody. It is. I, I had a peeping yeah. incident, but I don't know who the other one is. But well, I tell you, like, I, I, was, I, uh, I was telling Beth about this because I let her read my answers. Mm -hmm. I said, do you think these are pretty accurate? She thought they were. She goes, when did you start peeping on people? I go, I was in, uh, a little kid, like in fifth grade. She goes, well, that doesn't count. I go, sure it does. Yeah, you were peeping. Yeah. So my neighbor said, come look at my, uh, my uncle and my aunt are doing weird stuff in the basement. Look, at, look through the window. So I went over and I looked, and the the guy was reading a Playboy. His his girlfriend or whatever, his wife was sitting next to him in a chair, and he was like using his hand on her. She was like he was dressed, and she was like sitting there naked. That's like that old joke, no, using it to turn no, the pages. No, Robin, of the that's funny that you bring that up, but <laughs> I'm telling you, I saw it. And the, he was he was just sitting there reading a magazine and touching her. Oh my god. Was goodness. it did it turn you on or was it nasty? No, that, it, it confused me because it, it was such a freaky scene. It was like something out of a like a weirdo. How old yeah. were you? Like fifth grade, eleven. Fifth or grade, yeah, eleven. It was just weird to me. Huh. And another person is probably Casey. Yeah, I'm gonna go Casey. I'm gonna say Casey and Buckethead and his buddies all, all you know, peeped. Yes, they already. Yeah, you got it right. It's Casey and Howard. No, Casey, no. gay, gay Casey. Gay Casey. Yeah, we used to live in the dorms, and mm -hmm. like any Friday night, you would see people having sex. You just look out the window, and you would see in, in a different thing. Yeah, hey, Chauncey, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, is it me, or does this guy take everything Sal does and just make it dull? No, it's you. No, it's just you. It's you. All right, could be. That's just my opinion. Boy, you are a bitter. Uh-huh. I know well, I expected that answer from you, but I got to tell you, it sounds real close to what Sal did. One is based on what annoys you. The other is based on actual facts. It's not that creative, Gary. It's oh, really not crazy. that outside you, box. You would know about not being creative. <laughs> you want to cry about it? Nope. <laughs> All nope. right, Jones. Six is in. What do you mean the fix, the fix is, is in? Fix is in? What, what do you mean? What does that mean? Oh, oh my so God. Man. He's mad. I guess it's the contest is fixed for you, pal. Man. Good for you. Uh, everybody calling in upset because they uh, see a winner, I well, guess. Well, Chauncey it was really upset that people don't like him. And, and Ronnie told me that Chauncey walked around the DFP and had, like, no friends. No one wanted to sit with him. He said yeah, it was I pathetic. I only saw him once. I just said hello to him. I didn't see how uh, things were going. But, you know, when you were reading his little blog there the other day, I was like, the whole time he was watching me, I didn't even know he was around. Yeah, you know, he's a weird guy because I was really helpful to him, I thought. And I try to help everyone that comes in. And, and in his blog, he writes, by Wednesday, I realize that Gary hates my guts. And I really don't hate the guy. Yeah, I know. He's just paranoid. Yeah. Matt, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. What's up, brother? Hey, hey man, this, this this dude is great, man. This this dude is a lock as far as I'm concerned. I think uh, those every one of those songs you played, man, kill me every day, man. It just makes me just 
especially the Bob Abuli ones, man. This guy should definitely win. My question to you, Howard, is um, did John didn't do all this, though, right? This no. Is just, uh, no, these uh, are, he just answered phones, right? John did me the biggest favor leaving. Yeah, we're improving <laughs> on the position. I got to tell you, I, I would uh, uh, Richard Christie could start tomorrow, as far as I'm concerned, I, or yeah. Sal, or Chauncey, for that matter, yeah. or or any of these. They'd well, all be doing the better than one, right? No, no, these guys are all these guys. You know, John was a good guy, and don't get me wrong, and could have stayed here as long as he wanted. But best, uh, this is just a uh, this is a chance to get some new fresh energy. This, I like how you doing. I like how you doing this though, because this is this is this makes things a lot more creative on the show, and yep. it's making the show. A lot more interesting and listen brother i love you man and uh you've been uh making my mornings great it's gonna be like a day in hell whenever you leave radio brother uh, thanks I, 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 I dream about you all the time i'm not a fag dream. I just, uh, dream i yeah i dream about me and him are buddies gay. and hanging out smoking <laughs> dope and you know doing fun stuff like i don't know how it, it might sound gay but we're not doing we're just hanging out bro like bro i get it and there are people i've admired there are people i've admired and i dream about do you putting them on the bed on their back and <laughs> putting their legs in the air like yeah. kimbo <laughs> kimbo <laughs> all right listen i got to take a break richard christie you are great thank uh, you. you're doing a good thank job it's a good game oh thanks you know you got all your stuff and, here and back to chauncey i thought chauncey did good here i, I don't i don't know what, he what he's got to be upset stuff. yeah the beetlejuice's mom i mean that's awesome I yeah thought i that thought was it was great, great. I, I don't know why uh the w- interview of how Howard, I thought was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chauncey did a great job, but I don't, he's got this sad. I think Chauncey's going to get a lot of votes. I think he's mm-hmm. going to, by these calls, he's going to make people not vote like for him. Like him, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit like American Idol. You got to be humble. Yeah. I had a really great time. Had a lot of fun. Got some good phone calls. Sound like the audience was having a good time listening to the game. So I think it went really good. Now, what were you thinking about when you were looking at these test results last night? You saw that. That Gary likes to do certain actions. <laughs> well, when I saw Gary's answers and I saw that, I kind of, I kind of knew about the, the the one thing that he answered oddly. They have talked about on the show before, but I don't think they went into it extensively like they did today, asking him why he likes this certain th- certain act. And uh, and when I saw that he answered, you know, and talk and honestly answered about that act uh, i was like well that, there's something really interesting to talk about so so i was it was really cool when i started going through the answers i was like yeah there's some pretty good stuff here and we actually only got through about half the quiz today so if uh, if they want to do the rest of it maybe towards the end of the week or something that would be great because there's still a lot of interesting stuff left on there